We're going to talk about tissue and homogeneity, and we're going to do a calculation uh, of a beam passing through a uh, tissue and lung, and calculate the physical depth versus effective depth. So when the radiation passes through a patient, it enters 2 centimeters of tissue, 5 centimeters of lung, and 3 centimeters of tissue. That would be a physical depth of 2 centimeters plus 5 centimeters plus 3 centimeters. That would give you 10 centimeters physical depth. But your effective depth would be the 2 centimeters since we have a tissue electron density of 1 plus your 5 cm of lung multiplied by an electron density of 0.3. Our electron density for lung is 0.3. And then 3 centimeters for the other part of the tissue. So these multiplied would be 1.5 centimeters. So the radiation doesn't see 5 centimeters of tissue. It only, it only sees 1.5 centimeters of tissue. So the effective depth is actually 6.5 centimeters. So when we're actually looking at a increase in dose when the radiation passes through a field involving lung tissue, you're, look, you're going to radi ratio your TMRs. So the TMR for, let's say, 10 centimeter of depth might be 0.810, and the TMR for 6.5 might be 0.68, and you may get like 1.19, and the increase in dose would be like 19%, and that would tell you have 19% increase in dose um, when you're going through this lung field because of the effective depth being 6.5 um, due to that heterogeneity factor of 0 0.3.